is a sculptor image of Fadabia's lover. Did I scare you? I'm so sorry. <laughs> it's, it's okay, it's nothing. I was just, uh, I was just engrossed with that sculpture I was looking at. I'm Tade, I'm a curator. Um, do you need some gadgets? I am Philly, and no, I am neither here to visit nor to explore. I'll be walking here for the summer. Philip? Yes. Oh, you are the guy from the UK vacation. <sighs> Apologies for the misunderstanding. Okay, yeah, you see I'm quite popular around here. You're not. I just happen to have my ear on the ground. Um, so you were looking at this. Yeah. There's just something about that piece of that. I see can please what it is. Maybe you've seen the image somewhere before. Or I even heard the story. Story, I doubt, I doubt at least I wouldn't have had it. The lost kingdom of Fujaba. <laughs> <laughs> the kingdom was cursed by a powerful goddess. Existed at a time when humans had natural gifts and abilities. I doubt I've ever heard of that story, but it does sound fascinating. It is fascinating. I mean, I just finished reading it like the 20th time. Okay. Um, since you work here now, maybe I can give you my own copy. Oh, you have a copy? Mm -hmm. yeah. I, I would very much love to read it. You know? I, I mean, I'm going to be sitting here waiting for Mr. Toby to arrive with my employment later. So. <laughs> you are waiting for Mr. Tobe? Yes, I am. Ah, you're going to be here a very long time. Oh. Please follow me. All right, thank you. I'll see you. I guess I'm just, I'm just imagining things, all right? Mm -hmm. Let's go. Okay. Lost Kingdom of Njaba. It's quite voluminous. <laughs> Definitely. So, an angry goddess causes an entire kingdom to leave the nation times forever. Yes. Why? You have the book. Read up. <laughs> I'll read it definitely, but you do have a deeper understanding of the story, so. Okay. Um, in the period when humans had supernatural gifts. Yeah. Gifts like fire, wind, water and air. The goddess Adabia was sent down to earth by other goddess. And obviously because she was a goddess, she had the abilities of a goddess. Abilities that no human had. And she was in love. But I think she did some things that the humans of that time weren't comfortable with. They probably felt threatened by her, so they sent her and her lover and set them on fire. Unfortunately, the lover died. That infuriated her, so she crossed the whole kingdom. But what could she have done to threaten the people of the kingdom so much that they had to set her and her lover on fire? When you read the book, you have the full story, Mr. Philip. Philip. And I don't seem to understand why most people who read the book see the goddess as a bad person. I mean, they killed her lover. Imagine how that could have felt. Have you ever been in love? Because if you have, you definitely understand. Well, kind of. Mm. Kind of. When I think of the goddess, before she was infuriated, I think of her as a young, beautiful woman, you know, 
living her life on her terms, passionately and happily loving somebody who loved her in return. I don't think there was any justification for her actions. Are you being serious right now? Yeah. And why are you looking at me like that? Because you sound very passionate. That's not the story were true. Because it's real! Don't tell me you think the lost kingdom of Njaba is just a myth. I honestly do think it's made. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm surprised you even think this is real. So, you are of the opinion that this is all fantasy. Like, somebody just woke up and decided to write the lost kingdom of Njaba. Exactly. And the sculpture you saw out there too, was it also a myth? The sculpture is most probably the imagination of uh, Axis comes alive. Or probably uh, a very rare sculpture that found its way to the museum from the past with a lost history. I, I thought you were a lover of history and the arts in general. I am a lover of the arts and the history in general, but trust me, I really do. I really do love the art and the, and the history. But that is no mean I cannot tell the difference between a meat in reality. I mean, you can't compare this story to the story of all the gods, like the Gun and Shogo and, and even the Greek gods like uh, Poseidon. So, what makes you think that? Those other stories are real and not just myths. Because there are evidences, you see. There are worshippers and descendants who you know, carry the stories and tradition, pass it from generation to generation. I get your point. It's cool. Really cool. Uh, especially considering the fact that you have quite a bit resemblance with the sculpture of Adabia's lover. What? How can you even say that? I'm serious. Sorry, I have to take this. Hello? Oh, they're here. Okay, okay, I'll be right there. Uh, duty calls. Uh, there are some kids over here on this question and I have to attend to them. But you can come along if you want. I'm sure you love it. Oh, sure. That would be nice. Okay. okay. Ah, JK. Sorry, I have to take this. Hello, bro. <laughs> Hello, bro. Uh, bro, I have, to, I have to put this phone on loud speaker. My phone is acting up again. Mm. Bro. I'm at the museum. Uh, not yet. I'm waiting to take my employment letter from Mr. Toby. Ah, better. I need you to come pick me up at the office. My car broke down. I have to park it at the mechanic near my office. It won't be ready till tomorrow. Oh, come on now, bro. Seriously, where do I have to come pick you up? You feel order taxi now. Why would I order for a taxi when my younger brother is in town close by? Let's <laughs> see what find of baking for the museum, Abby. Why not come on for that side? What the heck are you saying? Really? You've been my younger brother for 28 years. I know you now. It's obvious on the way you sound. My gentle looking but smart brother. Boy, that paro. Chike, you're a loud speaker. Wait, is she there? Is she listening to this? Yes, the fine Okweke your brother just found at the museum is here listening to all you're saying. Hello, Shikai. Hey, how are you? Very typical. <laughs> Your elder brother. <laughs> yes, I am. I'm very sorry about that. I'm no. really sorry you had to hear that. It's fine. No offense taken. I have an elder brother that taunts me all the time. So trust me, I can relate. Thank you. For? For understanding. <laughs> uh, so, are you going to pick him up? Yes, I'll do that. I'll do that after I pick up my plumbing letter from Mr. Toby. So why are you suddenly shy? We were vibing really well. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry, it's just... Uh... Oh, well, never mind. Uh... 
Thank you very much for your time and for making me feel at home. I really do appreciate it. Well, I enjoyed your company too. The way we vibe there, like we've known each other for a very long time. So when will you be resuming? I'll be resuming next week. Hmm, okay. Let me officially welcome you to the Vlog Arts Museum. Thank you very much. You're welcome. And thank you for the book too. You're most welcome. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that reminds me. I book. <laughs> <laughs>